Hey everyone, it's Becky again. I, a couple of weeks ago I made this video about like Sims, a Sims 4 farm pack, just some ideas that I had and I had the speed pain going on in the background. And so I thought I could just maybe upload it as a speed paint in itself, just because I still have it on my computer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, if you don't like me just talking over it, um, you can always just mute a video, turn off your favorite music and just enjoy it in quiet. But I personally prefer it if people just talk a little over the speed pain, so I'm just gonna do that and use this as a little exercise and just free talking. So yeah, at the beginning I just made a hill because this is going to be a house that once was an alpine farmhouse and now it's just turned into a living room, a living house because there's no... you can't just turn this into a farmhouse in a game if you download it from the gallery. So yeah, that's kind of the idea of what's going on here. Yeah, as you can already see, I'm one of those people who just use the tool mod a lot. It just started out with tiny things. I started downloading it to maybe tilt paintings on the wall a little bit and then I just started using it more and more. Especially, um, I really love seeing those um, stop motion speed paints of YouTube on YouTube where just people basically create their own furniture out of whatever they have in the game with the tool mod and I just really like that and so I try to push myself to do something similar. You will see like points of this later on when we come to the interior of the build. You will especially see that in the living room later on when I create a little bit of my own couch with the Discover University pack. By the way, if you want to download this and um, my Sims ID is the same as my YouTube ID, BeckyTK. It's just Alpine Farmhouse, the name of the build, and you'll need Get Together and Discover University. I chose those two packs because Get Together is a little bit more European inspired. I think it's mostly English inspired, but there's still some German aspects a bit. Yeah, there's still some German aspects in it, and especially you will see it in a moment. I use those balconies from Get Together because those are just alpine balconies. When I went to Austria some time ago, they just had those balconies everywhere. So yeah, that's the yeah there there they are. Yeah, sorry, I just had to pause the speed paint for a moment there because my cat was acting up in the background. Like I don't know what she just tried to do. I think she wanted to go into a carton that's just lying around. Just, she's 17 years old and uh, she recently went to the pet, went to the vet, <laughs> sorry, she recently went to the vet, not the pet, <laughs> because uh, she had some problems with her teeth, everything's fixed now, but now that she's getting medicine, suddenly she just wants to act really young again. Like, she can't even jump onto the sofa and now she wants to jump onto the window seal and everything. <laughs> yeah. That's just the thing with cats, isn't it? So yeah, we were at the speed paint, weren't we? Yeah, at the moment, once again, I'm building a bit of a mountainside with debug rocks, which, by the way, I use the Twisted Maxi Sparrow Build mod because it has an organized debug and I really, really love using the debug objects because I paid for them, so I should use them. <laughs> And also the newest version has the ability to use the tool mod inside the build and buy mode. Which is just really great because I really hated it just going into live mode and just editing something with the tool mod. Especially because in cases like this where I have only a select number of packs when you go into live mode and then into build and buy mode again you have to select all the packs again. So that's just eliminate itself. I also think this is the first build I did with the updated version of the better build mod. Man, it just, it's really hot at the moment. Um, I'm just over here in front of my laptop with just my blanket over me so I have a little bit of sound isolation going on. And it's just so hot right now because I'm talking a lot and the laptop is also getting a little bit warm. I think I need to air it out in a moment. 
yeah at the time of me recording this is just like a few days after the oasis pack came out the oasis kit sorry i don't have this kit i thought about it because i really really like the build and buy objects in it and it would just be really nice to just do something else stylistically but i really have the feeling if i buy this kit i have to buy other packs that i don't own because i don't have any pack that stylistically is even close to the sort of yeah because um, it's all just very moroccan i think people call moroccan yeah and i don't have a pack that even remotely looks like it could be compatible with it so i don't think i even have something that to i don't even think i have the possibility to make an entire house in just a similar style because I don't think I ha really have any kind of furniture that really fits with it. I mean, I could just make like a typical suburban house and just put an oasis courtyard in it, but that would look kind of stupid. So yeah, I don't have the pack and I don't really intend on buying it because I've already spent way too much money on this game. Way too much money. Yeah, as I said, I don't own all the packs in the game just because for example, I don't own Dine Out. I like the idea of having a restaurant, but just looks so broken when I see other people play with it. And I'm like, I would use this once and I would be so frustrated with it because I also do gameplay. I mostly do building, but I still do gameplay. And just if the gameplay is broken, then I don't really want it. That's also the reason why I don't have the Eco Lifestyle Pack. I love, I love, love, love the items that I see in there and I would really love to build with them. But the gameplay just looks so broken that I really don't want this pack because I have the feeling it's just going to mess up my entire game and I have to turn off most of the features if that's even possible. So yeah, I really have to be careful with what packs I buy. As I said, I already spent way too much money on it. Yeah, we're at the kitchen now, as you can see. I cut out some parts in it. At first I wanted to make my own kitchen counters. Which, what you see a lot in stop motion builds, for example, uh, Simstopia does it a lot. There's this smaller channel called Schnook. Like, they make really amazing builds. Um, I, I think I'll link them in the, in the description. They make some amazing tutorials on how to make, for example, a pond without using the pool tool or the fountain tool. Yeah, that's really cool. I use this trick a lot with the debug waterfall from um, Get to University. <laughs> And at the beginning, I wanted to make my own kitchen counters with that debug vent that every stop motion YouTuber uses, but it just didn't look right in the light. It was very pixely, and so I just made an old fashioned kitchen counter. So now we're to the living room, where you can see me struggle a lot with the tool mod because I didn't know what height I wanted to give my table, and I wanted to add some stuff to it. In a moment you actually see me do um, the couch out of the get to university couch. I was struggling a lot with finding one that I really like to use and then I remembered I used Discover University for this build. I can just use that amazing couch that just allows me to make my own couch shape. And then for the end I just used the two debug vents, put them together and to avoid that flickering I size down one of the vents by like 0 0.001 in the tool mod and I also lowered one of the couches to 0 0.001 so that there's no flickering and that it just looks nice yeah <laughs> yeah now you can see me do it yeah and once again struggling with the tool mod so there I am again I just took a little break but if I do my job correctly with editing you probably won't notice it but my laptop was just getting really warm under the blanket and I was getting really hot so I just had to take a break and just drink a little bit of my tea. I made myself a little chai latte there. I just I love chai latte and I hate it that I can't go to cafes at the moment and drink them. I'm so addicted to it. It's it's not good, but I need this stuff. Yeah, at the moment I just took one of those powdered chai lattes from the supermarket. I know they're not good for my health, I know they're not really good for the environment, but I haven't drinking this stuff in three years and I thought, hey, 
maybe I could treat myself to one. I think we all need just some little bit of treating ourselves at this moment. Yeah, hopefully the world will return to normal again. Yeah, I just saw the um, the office space for this house and yeah, one thing that I pro should probably mention, if you download this house from my gallery, it's not going to be 100% the same as you see at the moment. Because for once, I actually forgot to record one of the rooms later on. It's just a little fireplace with some couches in it, so it's nothing special. Also, just after I recorded, I play tested it and it j the computer just didn't work. The Sims refused to use it unless they sit down in front of it. That's just something that I've noticed with my game. Sims just refuse to use the computer if you don't have a proper empty um, desk. Which, with the newest update, which I don't even know, I don't even remember what update it was. I think it was just a tiny, oh, we did some patches update. But yeah, since then it suddenly works for me, so... Could be good, could be bad, because it's also really annoying when the sims just always go to the computer. Yeah, like you see me done in this build a couple of times now, I started to create my own furniture with this. This has gotten really out of hand recently, because this build is also already like two months old. Yeah, I just started doing apartments, where I'm just forced to focus on the furniture. And did a li little bit more on that department, and then just started building like modern family houses. And I started building one, never made it up into the gallery because for some reason it's flagged as custom content, even though there's no custom content in it. And I just can't get it off. I think it has something to do. I first started doing no CC art. I really wanted to try to get into that. Which, if you don't know, no CC art is basically when you have art. That's just not flagged as custom content, because someone just put custom content into the game and then had their sim photograph it. Or take a picture of it. But since I guess one year ago, from what I've researched, this is not really possible anymore. The game just thinks it's custom art if you put a painting, for example, in your build. And I must have a painting somewhere or maybe... I remember that I tried to do custom art, so I put a room inside and maybe the game still thinks that the room is still in the building. So whatever it is, this build will never go up on my gallery because I just can't get the custom content flag off of it. And I don't know if it will properly show up in the gallery if it's flagged as custom content. Yeah, but since that build I just really tried to stretch myself with creating my own furniture in the game. Like as you saw with the couch for example. Um, I recently put up a build where I created a whirlpool. It doesn't function as a whirlpool. It's purely for up. It's purely, uh, you know, visually purely decorative. But I still like it. It's a round whirlpool that I did with that round well, and yeah, I still like it. And generally, I just really enjoy building in this game. I'm a very creative person by nature because I'm an artist. I love doing arts and crafts as a hobby. And just for a couple of months now, I just really enjoyed building in this game. It's like drawing, but much more relaxing, because when I draw, I'm, a lot of times I'm just like, oh no, this doesn't look good, uh, I really don't want to do this anymore, huh? maybe I should start over, I just really stress myself out drawing. Like, I still enjoy it, but while I draw, I'm just like, I hate every minute of it, until I'm done with the painting and think, oh, maybe I can do this. So yeah, I just really enjoy building in this game because it's like drawing but much more relaxing. Because I think just create, just creating a build out of things that you're already given is just so much more rewarding. It looks so it's that. Oh, I, I see we're already at the end of this. When I really didn't think that I could be able to just speak through all of this. I really thought that there would be so much more just empty gaps where I didn't know what to say. I even had a little paper on the side to just have notes in case I didn't know what I want to talk about. And like I haven't even touched up on half of the notes. But yeah, that's really good. That I just didn't have to like force topics into it. Because those are just like random topics which are barely have anything to do with the game. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the build. The only thing that I really don't like is those fruit trees that you saw over there. You can't get to them. 
that's just, I should have done that differently. So yeah, that's the end of the build. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe I'll do another one. We'll see how time works out. Bye!